Well, hello there, my utter darlings. Happy Tuesday to everybody. Welcome to Let's Build the World. And welcome to the final part of Ashwood Barn. We're getting it complete today. We've got a bedroom to furnish. We've got a nursery to furnish and an ensuite bedroom. Um, and then it's complete. And then we move on to the next build, which is coming tomorrow, which I'm not going to spoil just yet. We're just going to have to wait and see what I'm going to be doing. Um, and that's going to be tomorrow. So yes, lovely jubbly. I'm here. I'm joined by Blue. He's down in his bed there. He's very tired. Very tired indeed. I probably look a bit windswept. I've been out on my new bike. I bought a new bike the other day. <laughs> Story time. Bought a new bike. Um, and yesterday I went in to test it out. You know, do the do the one lap around the shop and whatnot. And I lifted my leg up and split my trousers right down the ass crack. Flashed my minge to everybody that was working in the um <laughs> in the bike shop he was like did you just split your trousers i was like yes yes i did <laughs> so i had to hide my ass with my bag for life from marxies <laughs> well i went and got a taxi to get home i mean how embarrassing this, this could only happen to me to be honest with you um but yeah i just thought i'd let you know story time but yeah enough whiffling on Let's get, on, let's get on over and complete this build for the final time. Okay, my loves. Here we are. We are back at Ashwood Barn for the final time. I didn't change anything from last time. I was happy with how the build was looking. Why is that glitching now? I was looking at those lines were glitching. Oh, so they glitch from far away. But when you get up close, they don't. Okay, good to know. Good to know indeed. Um, I also forgot, I know what I forgot to do, and that's put a light in this entrance. So let's do that. There we go. Um, let me just see how that's going to look down at that point. Oh, stunning. Yes. Yeah, here for that. So, yeah, I liked everything from last time. And you guys seem to enjoy it as well. So we're moving on upstairs. So this is what we're doing today. Master bedroom here. Um, I'm going to move the ensuite. I've got an idea. Uh, I'm going to move the ensuite over to this side, I think, because I do want to get a modern window in here. I don't know why. I'm just feeling having a modern window in here. So I'm thinking about putting one just there where I think I'm going to put the bed up on a platform. Choices. I'm here for it. It's aesthetics, loves. Absolute aesthetics. And this is going to be the nursery um, area. If you can hear panting, it's because blue. Blue is a little bit warm at the minute. So he's going to be panting in the background. You're just going to have to deal with it because he's my family member. And I'm not stopping him from panting because of the reasons that he is a dog. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Coming. In case you didn't know, you know, in case you did not know, he's a dog. Blue is a dog. I know it's shocking. Absolutely shocking. But, it, but he is. Um. Anyway, let's get this going. Show. 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 <laughs> Who am I? Sean Connery. Uh, I'm thinking about moving one of these windows in. Not in black. I'm thinking this one comes in... Oh, that would fit there. Lovely. I think and this one comes in a grey. Oh, it does look. Oh, it comes in several. Well, we'll go for that one first and see what happens. I'm going to have to move it up because I am whiffling up a platform. So let me get bearings here. I'm going to need a grid space. I do. Oof. The only problem with that is, I mean, I could. Well, nothing is stopping me from having the bathroom at this end. I think I'm going to do that instead then. Because this is going to be. If I, let me put that back in so I can talk through what I was just about to say. If I have a platform here lifted up, this is going to be kind of a little tight squeeze here between the toilet and the platform. So we'll see what the toilet would look like down at this point, shall we? Uh, I could probably go like that with it and have the ensuite there, which would free up a nice bit of space here for some wardrobes. That's a good idea. And then I can just lift this whole lot up here on a platform. There's the vibe. We found the vibe. We're into the vibe. Everything's a vibe today. Also, film recommendation for you. I went to the cinema and I watched um, Everything Everywhere All at Once. Is that what it's called? Am I saying that right? I've been recommending it to everybody and I cannot remember. Where are you? Where are you, please? I have Everything Everywhere All at Once. I was right with Michelle Yeoh and Jamie Lee Curtis. I'm not joking you when I say this. It's probably one of the best films I've seen in years. It blew me away. It was incredible. I mean, it's got Michelle Yeoh in it. That is all you need to know. It's going to be an amazing film. Um, 
I would recommend it to everybody. I'd love to know if anybody in the anybody in this community has been to see it. Oh, I love that for us. Thank you for coming in. Yeah, you're not invited though, so please absolutely do one. Um, yeah, I'd be interested to know if any of you guys have seen it and what did you think? No matter if you didn't enjoy it. I mean, your opinion's wrong. But um, <laughs> I'm joking. I'm not one of those assholes, I promise. Uh, but your opinion would be wrong um, at that point. I won't lie. Uh, <laughs> oh, what am I like? I'll tell you what I'm like. Silly bum loves. Silly bum. I'm going to have to move that in as well, sadly. Because of the platforms. The Sims, like, game engine shits itself when you put a roof in for some reason. And you're using platforms. I mean, that looks weird there. We'll sort that out in a sec. Uh, but I'm just feeling a platform here. And I don't know whether to change the direction of this wood. I'm not enjoying it this um, direction around. I think we're going to go a bit more like that. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to go a bit more like that. Do need two of these lights in this room because it is a little bit darker, this room. Um, just because of the amount of... In fact, I might even put three of these lights in. I might... I don't want to size these down. Yeah, I think I do. No, I'm not. I'm going to put you in the middle and I'm going to do a saucer. I'm going to do a cheeky little saucer underneath for this one here. There we go. Beautiful. That one there, I just brighten up the room a little bit more. Okay, so here we go. Um, people always laugh. I look for this fence to do platforms on. You can use any fence, but I just like using that one. <laughs> I have to find a specific fence to do a platform. I mean, if that is not Virgo... I do not know what it is, to be honest. Ah. Ah. Anyway, moving on. So, we've got the platform arisen now. Uh, I'm going to... Oh, not drywall, my love. We're going to put you on here now that we know what we're doing there. Uh, same here as well. I'm going to use that same door. And I'm going to flop it right in the middle. This could be a nice bit of wardrobe space here. I might even do one of the custom like modular wardrobes but every time i think about doing that i'm sick of my mouth a little because i know what the swatches are like and they're just not the vibe they're absolutely not the vibe okay yeah i'm happy with that happy with that let's find a good bed and some nice side tables guys i'm doing it i'm absolutely doing it i'm gonna use the industrial look in this room as well to match in with the house i think it would be lovely um it does mean that i have to move this but that does not matter because we can put two of the side tables here to match in. And we could probably put some lights on top of it as well. Um, what? Where are those side tables? Where are you? There they are. We'll flop these in here. We'll go for a bit more of a darker aesthetic in here. Beautiful. Stunning. Oh, yeah. Yes, that's going to be lovely. I was afraid this was going to be a bit of a tight space, but I think this will be fine. They'll still be able to light that fire. It'll all be gorgeous. It'll all be absolutely gorgeous. One thing I haven't put in here are blinds. What did I use down here? I have to use them, but I could use, just to bring a bit more of that wooden vibe, I could use these in here as well. I think I'm going to do that. And I'm going to, I'm not going to cover that one though, I don't think. Am I? Oh, no. Do, do you know what? I am going to. I'm going to do it. Oh, lovely bit of green there. We like that. Yes. Yes, indeed. Oh, I'm for that. Now, I'm trying to think what table lamps were for sale in Berry Cloth Antiques. But I can't really rightly remember. Um, so I might just go for something quite clean like these ones here. These would look great in here, actually. Oh, they do. They do. That's the ticket. I mean, they did buy them from Berry Cloth Antiques, but it was the last ones. I said, loves, they, they are um, Graham's, one of Graham's greatest customers. They really are. And they haven't lived here for too long. Yeah, that's nice. That is, that is lovely. I am going to do wardrobes. I am going to do, I'm going to do two of them as well. And I'm going to use the industrial set. Um... If I can see them, there we go. I'm going to go for the darker vibe here as well. I'm going to do one there and one here. And we're going to do a lovely little moment in the middle with maybe a mirror. Maybe a mirror. It's making me want to pull this out just around about there though now. Let me see that. Let me see what you... Oh God, I'm just thinking. They might bash their head on that, won't they? We're going to size them down. We're going to just size these down in here. 
They've gone for the smaller sizes. Yeah, that should be better. That should be better. And a lovely mirror in this part here. Um, Let me find one. Ooh, we'll go for the base game one. Let me just see what that one there looks like. Now, you're too warm. Mm, that's quite nice, actually. That does go with that brown. Rather lovely. But let me just check that other one. In fact, that one's a bit better. Oh, excuse you, please. We'll go for that one. Yeah, that fits in a little bit better. Oh, I like that. And I'm thinking like a little poof. A little poof, eh? Down on the floor area here. Now, I know there's a lot of you guys reminding me about using these. I always forget about these. That would look great there, wouldn't it? Oh, yes. Can we go a little bit? No, that brown's a bit too light. Oh, the green looks nice, though. Yeah, let's hit it with a bit of green. Let's hit it with a bit of green. That wood tone is not too far off. Can you stop pausing the game, please? I just spat on my mic. I do apologize. <laughs> eh, no. Now that I put it down, I'm going to go for black. Yeah, that's better. And I'm sticking with the uh, darker aesthetic in here anyway. I do want um, some greenery in here, though. I must admit. So we will do that. I will also flop one of those blinds on in here as well. There we go. Um, I'm unsure if I want to put like a dresser up here. I don't think there's any point of having two wardrobes, having a dresser here. So I don't think I'm going to do that. I think maybe this would be a lovely little meditation space for them with some plants. That could be a lovely vibe, actually. A little meditation space with some plants and maybe a sofa, a mini little tiny sofa. Let me pull out a few bits. There we go. Now, I was putting, like, the sofa here, but it was just... It was not looking right to me. Um, so I pulled out this one here, this, like, mid-century vibed one. And I've just put it here facing the window. That's where they can put their pants and socks on. So I'm thinking this would be a lovely little meditation area. And I'm going to fill this end of the bedroom with greenery. We're going to flop in quite a bit of greenery, actually. I think we're going to use a bit of you. We'll have one of you, my darling. Stunning. I do want a few of these flopping from the ceiling. Um, uh, eh, I think this all comes in like... I mean, it doesn't matter if it's in a white bowl. Bowl pot. Um, but I will mix it up with some other ceiling plants. Have I picked you? No, here we are. Here we go. And I do want to use that long one. But using that long one... When you have already raised it up on a platform, I'm unsure if it's going to fit okay. Uh, oh! Oh, I'm shocked it does. Right, well, we're going to do that. Flop you there, my darling. Excuse you. Thank you. Is that on the ceiling? It's on the ceiling. We're ready to roll. Uh, and I am going to use this. I know I use this object to death. But it's happening. And you're just going to have to deal with it. <laughs> and if you've got a problem... You can speak to my mum. <laughs> oh, what am I saying? Anyway, move along here, actually. I'm going to flop you over to the other side, I think, my love. Oh, not you. You. Over here. With a few more little numbers on the floor. Um, Yeah, that's cute, that. Oh, that's a lovely little area. And a couple of candles and some incense. Can I put incense on top of that? Is this a... There's not going to be a slot on top of that, Aiden. Who do you... <sighs> watch, watch, the, watch there be a bloody slot there now. I'll be shocked. Oh, shocked. I'm shocked at that. Absolutely shocked at that. I did not think that was going to be. Slap me on the tits and call me Sheila. Right, I'm thinking of having some graffiti in here. Graffiti. <laughs> Can we put the TI in there as well, my love? Lovely. Can I flop up a bit of graffiti in here without it looking absolutely shit? I mean, this one here would look great in here, but we've already used it downstairs. Um, oh, mm, there's a bit too much colour in that. Oh, and I hate that one. Uh, uh, let me see what I can find. I'm going to go for that one. That nice bit of pop-up behind the bed there. I'm kind of feeling it. And I think it's because of that limey green colour with the black. I just think it... Yeah, I'm into it. We're going to do that. Another one of Leon's murals. I'm into it, loves. Absolutely into it. Right, we've got our incense. We now need to just add some candles in the wind. <gasps> I'm not going to sing. 
I'm not going to sing. So I think... Yeah, maybe just these ones. We haven't really got good candles. Oh no, maybe I could just flop a couple of... Or one of these. Um, in a darker brun. Off to the side there. Oh, and maybe like that. Um, this one. Because it kind of looks a bit... Sort of like Nate earthy. You know, earthy. Earthy vibes. There we go. Yes, that's nice. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, cute. That's exactly what I want from their rooms. From their room. I'm into it. I'm into it. I'm just going to go and quickly do the ensuite because ensuites are boring. There we go. Little ensuite bathroom. Decided to go with a bit of a forest green um, cement or concrete wall. Uh, just thought it looked nice. Thought it looked nice. I'm going to do it. Going to do it. Do I want to put it on the outside here? Oh, I like that. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do <gasps> it's making me think maybe we could add a feature wall of this down somewhere here as well not there i think it would take away too much from there but i reckon here would look great oh i'm into it yeah we're doing that absolutely doing it and i'm gonna do it in here as well just in the yeah love that love that for us really do yeah beautiful beautiful cover girl here for it so on to the nursery nursery now i am unsure what bassinets look in the look like in the game um so i'm gonna have a little look oh is it two t's two excuse me is it two t's or one t one t bassinet no i don't want tiny travelers darling i want a bassinet it's doing it again i want a bass it's me who's doing that bassinet tech search for bassinet there we are okay um, I mean, I mean, yeah, <laughs> I think that's the way to go, isn't it? <laughs> I think they would go full goth. I think, I think they would go full goth with the bassinet. Again, purchased from Berry Cloth Antiques. I'm kind of into that. It's making me want to change these to black, but I know that there's got the, no, I don't like that. I'm going to keep it white. We'll go for a black and white vibe in here. Oh, that's cute. Now, I'm not going to make this for a toddler as of yet. I'm not going to make this room for a toddler. We're just going to keep it for a baby. She's only just pregnant. Um, so that's the vibe that we're going to go for for today. Um, uh, oh, what's in here? What have I... Oh, oh of course. Yes, yeah, something's obviously missed. Yes, I've put a, a wall on something and something's disappeared. Just great. Oh, great. Where's this from? No idea. Where did I put this? I'm pissed off. I don't know if you can tell, but that's made me absolutely fuming. Made me fuming. Can I put this? Oh, I can put this on top there. There we go. Yep, beautiful. <laughs> Just putting it around anywhere. Oh, that doesn't go up on there. That's so annoying. Can you go up there? No. Oh, do you know what? Just go there. I'll put it on top of there before it... I'll put it on back on top of this before I put it up into the gallery. Um, anyway, back to what I was thinking. I think I need to go and grab a few bits, actually, and pull them out. Um, and we'll put them around together. Right, I've pulled out a few objects here. I thought a lovely little bookcase, like an Ikea-ish looking one. We'll bring that one out. Uh, and I'm going to fit it with this wardrobe here, which is from Snowy Escape. I can't remember where this bookcase is from. Where, where are you from, my darling? You were from un um, university. I think I'm going to move them around, actually. I'm going to put the wardrobe on this side. I'm going to put the bookcase on this side. I just think that would look a bit better. Yes, this has got all the baby clothes and everything in. Um, a nursing chair. We're going to flop a nursing chair there. <laughs> the funniest thing is, I think this room is going to look the most goth out of all of them. <laughs> out of all of them, the baby's nursery is going to be <laughs> is going to be the most goth. Um, which I'm for. Absolutely for. I'm going to flop you to there, my darling. And then move you a little bit further in there. Beautiful. And I just thought, I love this little bat object here. I think, I think that is so bloody cute. So I'm going to put this bat on. Look. Uh, that is so adorable. I love it in this colorway. I don't think I've ever seen it in that colorway. And hasn't that been out for bloody years? Um, I just haven't been paying attention. Now, I thought... <laughs> getting out a um, Grim Reaper... 
Uh, <laughs> that a bit morbid is that a bit morbid i mean it is the sims the sims is a bit morbid so i'm just gonna go ahead and do it um i'm gonna i'm gonna use the grim reaper gnome and put you in there and he overlooks the baby looks after the baby baby um i think that's kind of cute oh i'm into that does need a bit of plushness in here so i think i'm going to sorry I'm trying to stifle in a burp. I don't want to burp in your guys' faces because that would be rude. Uh, I think I'm going to get in a little... Maybe in grey. Oh, yes. Like in a little soft grey. Let's flop you to around about there. I think that would just bring a bit of... Oh, yeah, that looks nice. I like that. And I'm going to do a few stencils on the wall as well, I think. Um, hopefully, they've got some black and white ones. I don't know if they have. We'll do grey... We'll have a look. Oh, they have look. Oh, they're very tiny. Oh, they're very tiny indeed. Oh, I thought they were going to be better than that. I mean, what's that? What are you? Uh, let me find something. There we go. I've just done the little doggy decal. And I put on a little nightlight next to it as well. Um, but I'm kind of... I'm kind of here for this room. I think it's cute. I think it is very cute. It's got everything that I would need. Or everything that the baby would need. And I love that it's the most goth room in the whole house. Oh, I'm for it. Anyway, we are complete, loves. Ashwood Barn is complete. So let's have a little tour around, shall we? So obviously exterior. Old barn. Old barn. And a reconstructed barn. I reckon the barn was there, but they've just built up with new siding and whatnot. Um, just to make it look a little bit fresher. So you're coming through here. There's the main entrance that way. Little cheeky seating area around here. Little barbecue slash entertaining space there. Um, some lovely little growing areas here with a little orchard. Cherry orchard to be exact. Um, with some herbs and stuff going down this side here. Nice little wellness area here. Little wellness moment. Um, with an outside dining space there with his own little barbecue on this side as well. I did flop that in. I just thought it would have been nice to have a barbecue on both sides. Um, depending on how many people they've got here, you know. Uh, coming round to this side. So you come through into the main entrance here. Just a lovely little boot room. Beautiful. And then you come in through this side here. Um, big open plan living space. Uh, so living area over that side. Kitchen here with a nice little breakfast bar moment there. And then over into the dining space on this side with doors on each side as well. So they've got access out to the front and back of the property. Um, over into the art studio. So we've got the lovely little art studio going on here where Leon does all of his illustrations. Um, just gets into the zone in this place. I reckon he smokes a bit of weed in here as well, loves. Oh, I reckon he does. Um, right over into the office space here as well. Um, oh, I love this. So I reckon this is where Rose writes her children's books, gets inspiration, um, and just loves being in this space. Loves being in this space. I think we need to get some incense in both of the rooms, actually. So I'm going to put some incense in both of those. Um, so over this way... Excuse you. Stairs going upwards up there. We'll go up there in just a sec. Lovely little reading nook on this side. Just to get away from the um, the big open plan space. Little cosy nook. Downstairs bathroom with full bath and shower down here. And then obviously where we've just furnished today. The baby's room. That is the gothest room in the house. I'm absolutely for it. <laughs> really cute i'm into that and then over into the master bedroom as well which is yeah very nice i do like this room i do like this room i like that bright um print or graffiti print behind the bed as well very nice and then it's got his own little ensuite bathroom in here as well i will show off the floor plan for you as well so you guys that like to see a floor plan um can have a little Meander. There we go, darlings. And then down to the ground floor right there, my loves. Absolutely beautiful. Let's get a good bit of light in to finish off for today. But we're done. We're done with Ashwood Barn. 
as I said, I'll be back tomorrow. I'm unsure if we're doing a commercial lot or another um, kind of family yet. I think it might be a commercial lot, but we shall see. We shall see when we come back tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to be live on Twitch tonight, my loves, playing a weird game. I don't know what it's called, but it's very strange. Come and join us, 7pm GMT. But if not, I will see you all tomorrow. Goodbye.